Welcome back. Uh, Non-business news. Ever since curfew was imposed following uh, the outbreak of COVID-19, most people in Kampala Central Business District are finding it difficult to get to their homes in the evening hours due to the inadequacy in the transport means. Uh, city, taxi and bus drivers attest that they are forced to drive only one route during the evening hours in order to beat the curfew which has created a transport vacuum. As part of containing the spread of COVID-19, President Yoweri Museveni announced a countywide curfew from 7 p.m. Number one, curfew time is maintained at 7, 7 p.m. Sawe Muyechiro up to uh, 5.30 but as time passes, the curfew rhetoric remains subtle, with hundreds of Ugandans in Kampala finding it difficult to find their way home. This is City Square Bus Park, where you found hundreds queued up waiting for transport means to take them back home. <laughs> Natakiwa sirikali ya angalie kwa hiyo e, neno kwa makini ya eh. Uwe tulina tuja wanusawa kuminemu na ye emoro kwa wanutufu wao kumpi wa basa wa angabili chitu ndu nga atene mbo kwa basirikali wa tutu alaganya. It is the struggle for the fittest here and social distancing remains a myth as buses are filled to capacity. Taxi drivers attest to the fact that they are forced to drive only one evening route to beat curfew and the current hiked fuel prices have exacerbated the situation. Then I remind you the president of seven, but so we are going to agenda to Korachi, agenda to Tuta, we are going to go to Kuvudi. No, we are going to go to Kuvudi. 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 Ironically, in downtown Kampala, business has just kicked off. It's like daytime and it's the best time for business since Kampala Capital City Authority is out of town and street vendors are taking the advantage. During the time, the time. the the presidential directive on curfew also banned border borders from operating beyond 6 p.m. But it's past that time and border borders are packed waiting for passengers. Border borders are now allowed to move up to 1800 hours, that is 6, six o'clock. Beyond 1800 hours, no border border should be on the road. Downtown Kampala has four police posts manned by men and women in uniform, but they too are just looking on as business goes beyond curfew. It is just a few minutes to nine, that is uh, already past curfew time, but here in downtown Kampala, it is business as usual. A beehive of activities here taking place can only confirm that curfew is only theoretical but not practical. Saddam Mubali, BBC News, Kampala.